So in this video, I want to talk to you about the topic of payment methods for WooCommerce. So if you have a WooCommerce store or if you are planning to open a WooCommerce store, then yeah, of course you need a payment provider or um, yeah, some kind of payment method that uh, people can order from you, from the items or the services, goods and services. And then yeah, of course they have to pay for this. And um, yeah, for this reason, you need a payment provider and here is a good list of uh, the most popular payment providers out there so you can um, implement uh, paypal uh, apple pay amazon pay skrill stripe alipay authorize net and of course there are so much more but this uh, these payment providers are um, yeah the most popular and um, the most well-known payment providers and yeah i want to show you how you can implement them so i have here my demo store um here you can see I built a demo store. If you want to see how to build um, a WooCommerce store, I built this, um, I made a tutorial. So go to my channel and there you will find this tutorial where I show you exactly step-by-step step how to build the website, how to build the store. But this is not the topic of this video. So I want to show you how you can implement these payment methods. So right now, um, when of, let me see. Yeah, I have some, uh, products in the cart here and then I, when I go to check out then I cannot pay for the for the items here um, you can see here uh, payment options there are no payment methods available and in order to uh, fix this we have to add some uh, payment methods so then let's go to WooCommerce and let's go to settings and here we have the option or we have the tab uh, payments when we click on payments then um, you can see we have here some default payment method so here is um, woo payments for example so with woo, pa woo payments you can accept for example a visa mastercard american express so all the major credit cards you can accept and also you can accept um, apple pay and google pay for example so um, all we have we could now do is click here on install and then this plugin will get installed um, it depends of course on the wordpress version or on the woocommerce version if you already have this here populated um, and if not then i will show you how to uh, install this plugin manually so and then here we have a direct bank transfer so i think yeah you could uh, definitely set this up uh, but I think, yeah, this is a little bit outdated. Nobody um, uses this, I think. Uh, or you have um, check payments. Yeah, I think nobody uses this. Or cash on delivery, for example. You could simply um, activate this here. These are already uh, installed. And then, for example, I have cash on delivery activated right now. And then I could click here on finish setup. And then... I have here uh, cash on delivery, the title, then the description, and um, yeah, so then enable shipping method. Uh, yeah, so this um, of course would work, but um, I think, yeah, this is um, not that popular. So I think the most popular payment method our credit card and so on and, and so now let me show you uh, right now here uh, I have already uh, or I will already uh, get shown Woo payments. So Woo payments uh, personally. So um, I really, really like Woo payments. So of course, this is my personal opinion. I'm a big fan of Woo payments because it's really easy to set up. Yeah, I'm really impressed by the ease of use and it's really simple um, to install this. So when you, for example, click here on install, then after the plugin get installed, then um, an automatic um, uh, setup with it with it uh, will open, and then you have only to provide your your address and then your bank information. So in order to or that they um, Stripe or Woo payments can send you the money to your bank account, and yeah, this is uh, of course one of my favorite here. So then, if you don't have this um, here populated. So then uh, let's go to 
uh, where is plugins? Um, where are my plugins? Uh, here. Then we go to plugins and here we go to add new plugin. And then you can simply um, use the search bar and simply put in uh, Woo payments. And then you will get uh, the plugin. Here you can see the plugin, the first one, uh, integrated WooCommerce payments. And then you simply have to click on install now. And then, um, yeah, this plugin will get installed. And then the installation wizard or the setup wizard will, will start. And then, um, yeah, you have to uh, input your uh information your personal information so uh name street address and country and then the next step is that you will create an account there and then um yeah you provide your uh, bank account and then everything is good and th then uh, you can accept credit cards and um Apple Pay and Google Pay, for example, and a few more. Let me see what else you can accept with this method. Um, let me see. Where are the different payment methods? But um, yeah, you will get a ton of different payment methods. So right now I cannot find the right screenshot. Let me see. No, this is uh, yeah only the back end how it looks. So you can see um, who pays you and uh, for which amount and so on the name and uh, all the informations. Uh, yeah, so if you want to use this, then simply uh, install this. And this is relatively cheap. So I think they are charging you 1% uh, of the transaction or not even 1%. Um, I don't even remember right now, but please, uh, yeah, read um, all the all the informations first so that you know exactly how much they are charging. Uh, I think it's 0 0.5 or 1% uh, round about this, but I am not sure. So please, before you install any plugins, any payment plugins, uh, read what they are charging so that you are completely safe and that you are completely informed. And also what's next? So let's see, um, yeah. Uh, PayPal. So PayPal in order to integrate PayPal, then of course you need a PayPal account. So then uh, simply go to paypal.com, make a normal uh, PayPal account. And if you already have a PayPal account, then yeah, you don't need a new account. You can use your existing account and then simply go here on top and search for PayPal. And there we have some uh, yeah, here, for example, yeah, uh, that the directly WooCommerce integration uh, for PayPal. So here you can see uh, WooCommerce PayPal payments Then simply go to uh, install now and then you can install this plugin. And um, here goes the same. It is a simple um, setup with that. So uh, you simply put in your PayPal information and then your shop will get connected to your PayPal account. And yeah, then the, your potential customers can pay directly per PayPal. Or I think, yeah, PayPal, of course, offers um, credit card payments. Um, yeah, then let's see what's uh, next here. Amazon Pay. So yeah, the same goes here when you want to uh, accept Amazon Pay, then simply go here and Amazon Amazon Pay and then install yeah the right plugin um make your amazon account ready for this uh yeah here you can see woocommerce amazon pay click on install now and then activate and yeah then you can accept uh um amazon payments or yeah payments via amazon and yeah this of course goes for all the others so skrill the same you make an account with skrill and then um, you install the plugin for Skrill, um, Stripe. So Stripe and Woo payments are the same. So they only, I don't know why, um, Stripe and Woo payments are the same. So if you are installing uh, Woo payments, then you are using Stripe. And yeah, Stripe and Woo, Woo payments are my favorite payment methods. So um, this is the same, then Alipay, I don't know if you want to accept Ali payments um, outside of the United States. I don't know if this how popular this is. 
So um, here in Europe, it is not popular at all. I don't know how it is in the United States or in your country, wherever you are right now. But um, yeah, Alipay, uh, of course, there's the same. They have a plugin for WordPress and WooCommerce and the same goes for authorized net and yeah so what you have to do is i think i would recommend you to install i don't know two payment methods so for example you go with stripe or uh, woo payments and then also um, install paypal or offer paypal payments and i think this is uh, yeah this is more than enough then they have different payment methods they, they can pay with credit card they can pay with paypal um google pay apple pay and so on so this is yeah really simple and then when you integrate this then you have here the payment options then they can put in their credit card information or their their paypal information and yeah then everything is good and you can you can start um selling so and one other thing of course there is a crypto payment so if you want to accept a bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies so yeah cryptocurrencies like bitcoin ethereum are on the rise they are get more and more popular and this is what this is a little bit more compu complicated and this is what i want to show you in the next video so in the next video and this is why you should uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and please press the thumbs up button on this video so and yeah this is uh i want to show you in a detailed video in a dedicated video how you can integrate bitcoin and all the other crypto cryptocurrencies into your online store then you can accept all the major cryptocurrencies but yeah this is a little bit more uh, not complicated but um, there are a few more steps involved and this is what i want to show you in a dedicated video so yeah now i think you know everything or you know how to how to install or um, all the payment methods and how the payment works so you definitely need uh, a payment provider you cannot input uh, your bank informations and then or your credit card informations i don't know and then directly accept payments so you need a payment provider otherwise it didn't work and yeah i showed you how this works uh it is really simple and as soon as you install this and then you will see your payment methods here under payment and then you will see all the options here then you can go uh, to the settings and um, yeah put in all your information so activate and deactivate um, the different payment methods and yeah so i think that's it for the video so then um, yeah if you found the video informative if you learned something new in the video then yeah please press the thumbs up button and also subscribe to my youtube channel i would really appreciate it i'm a small creator um and yeah so every subscription every thumbs up for me counts and also please support me on patreon you will find all the links in the video description down below and yeah so that's it then thank you very much for your time thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye guys